the tricky part is that uh, in two of these sections, so right here and right there, we can't have any glass because of the sticky, uh, not the sticky pistons, but the, well, I guess both, because of the sticky pistons and the slime blocks, the glass will stick to the slime blocks. So we have to have space for all that kind of stuff. We can, however, have it everywhere else. I'm going to need a lot more than 64, I just realized. I think that's almost done that side. So we just have to leave these two, oops, not there. So this is where I thought we could put glowstone, but I don't think I like the look of that. So that's why I'm gonna leave the sea pickles where they are. Uh, yeah, I could, put, I could put melons in there. They just don't look very good. I did that in creative world too. I thought about that. So that's three. Let's get up here. Oh, not placing blocks very well today. Like that. Oh, in the hole again. So the front of it has this weird opening. I, ah, I did not mean to do that. Uh, the front of it is going to have this weird opening. I'm not sure how to handle that. We need to do something cool with that. But then there's these two, two, two high openings on all the other sides. More glass, more glass, more glass. I have a crafting bench? I do. How do I have three crafting benches? Oh, because they were from the melon farm. Right. I don't think I brought that cactus green with me on purpose. I think that was just accidental, but it worked out quite well. Uh, so yeah, so these two have to be open. I don't remember how I did the back. So I'll have to figure that out. But this is going to be open there. And then this is going to be open on the side. Wah! Good way to lose your toes. So we've only been here for a couple of minutes. And already we've got over a dozen slices. Yeah. So that is the whole thing done. Pretty sharp, right? And one of the ways I thought we could cover up these side bits and kind of bring it in to match uh, the rest of the farm aesthetic a little bit. <laughs> so the one melon that he picked up earlier, that's funny. Uh, too good. Uh, so what I thought I would do here is to cover this stuff up, is do this. I think I'm using the right color. And then that. And then we can put down stairs here, there, and then trap door. So it looks kind of like a strut, like, like it's holding up the farm. Because it matches, it sort of matches this other stuff. I didn't want to do I didn't want to do the, the spruce logs just in case. Uh, we can get rid of this. and just do the same thing on this side. Where's my logs? Do that and then two, three, stare. There. That's kind of cool. Again, I'm not really sure what to do about the front of it. Uh, could do something, I don't know, maybe like a stair block or something. Uh, that looks a little bit weird. But we'll have to come back to that uh, because I now I have to go and put the the filter on the greenhouse. That's going to be like the, the back part of that. And I guess we could also do this thing where we've got these lower lower bits. 
And because this is a spruce build, we can probably use the spruce stairs kind of in this way. Uh, if we do kind of like that, that, and then have these go sideways, this. Do I have more? I must have more. I know I say it a lot, but I love having shulker boxes in my ender chest. So good. That, and then we can do this. And then I guess just a, a trap door should be all we need to, to cover that up. And I don't think I have more of those. Great minds think alike. I can do that, that looks good. So the only thing I wanna do now is I think I want to uh, take some regular regular spruce wood and see if I can't cover up some of the stuff that you can see between the cracks. I did this at the other the other farm and I found that it looked good. So we've got a spot to the right and the left of the chest and the other side. Slabs might actually be a better way to go. But let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Filling up fast? Wow, yeah, it is. That's crazy. It's one module, and the people on the servers, they build like these crazy tons of modules. So I think if I do this, this, there's nothing I can really do there because there's a comparator there, but I can probably, I can probably do something like uh, put a block like, oh, there's redstone there. Hmm. That's unfortunate. So this redstone, I could move the redstone. The redstone could be over here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh, I'm gonna quickly get some, another torch and we'll do this because that way we can hide things up. So I'll put another one of these here I'll put a redstone torch there. I don't think that should be a problem. Wait, that shouldn't that shouldn't block any any hoppers. Uh, and then I can go and remove this one. This will keep everything powered. And then I can do something like this. Not with a stair block though. Oh, I see what I did. I did a pick block on that. Yeah, so that shouldn't affect, that shouldn't affect anything else, right? So if I put in three, three bits of dirt, that worked. And then if I go back up, the chest is locked. And then when we look down at the chest, yeah. For the most part, you can't see anything. There was one little hint of green that I saw somewhere. So it's coming in from that side there. You can't really hide. Can't do anything about that. But I can probably go back and put a block somewhere back there. I might be able to squeeze one in because I think that's just the top of, yeah, that's just, that's just, this stuff here. So if I just get rid of this, get rid of that, and make that a full block, then that should, that should encase the whole thing. And then this way we can still have access to this chest down here, which is good, should we ever need it. Yeah, that sorted it out. Perfect. So now we can come back and decorate this later. Um, what I want to do is, is hook up the, the filters and stuff. Can move the comparator out one. It'll pull the signal th through a full block. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to do that because of just to keep it simple. Uh, I think Alistair McFly left a secret message in your melon chest. Uh-oh. Shenanigans. 
Nope. No secret message. Flow19081. Thanks so much for the follow. Welcome. I don't believe I've seen you here before. Sweet. Well, that didn't take very long at all. And now we have a nice clean path to get to this farm, which I will fix. Uh, and then we can continue this path on. I don't know what I'm going to do. Somewhere along here, I want to have access to this waterway. I might try to tuck it over here somewhere. Uh, but that's good. Another melon in the chest. <laughs> that's great. Oh, very funny. I see. I see what happened now. I see. I see what happened now. Can I eat these? When I get hungry, I'm going to eat these. That's going to be funny. Uh, so yeah, I feel like I feel like that's it for now. Uh, I will eventually move that. Uh, but now what we can do, I think I need to bring sticks with me because I think those are those are the what I was using for filters. Although what I could do is beyond that, I would need. Let's just rename them all. Filter stick. Alistair McFly, do you have a channel with which you create content, says Jared. Uh, yes, and I'm pretty sure that it's just Alistair McFly on Twitch, um, but you can check that out. He's done a couple, but not very many. All right, so let's go over to the greenhouse and we can put uh, we put the filters in. I can't remember who was asking earlier about, uh, about uh, texture packs, but this is the two high wheat from Jermsey Boy. So you can see that the weed actually has like, it's got a two block height to it. Um, so he did all of the modeling for that. And all I did was just change the color to match my texture pack. So, and it's getting dark. So maybe we should hang on a tick or we'll just go back. Make sure we go back before the sun comes up. Give myself a little bit of time here. Jump. Oh, I didn't make it. Pixel Riffs with the sub. Five months in a row. How time flies. You're right, sir. I can't believe we are encroaching on 30 episodes on the uh, the spawn chunks. That's crazy. Thanks for stopping by, dude. I hope you're having a good weekend. Oh, have I already done this? I have already done this. Well, let's... Let's replace the sticks then. We'll put these in the right order. Filter stick, filter stick, filter stick. I think I just did that one. There, so these are all filter sticks. This is all filter sticks. These are not. Normally I use something like paper, um, but for whatever reason, when I started this, this particular farm. Now these ones are not done. We'll have to leave these for another time. Well, I already have the double filter in, so that's great. Um, that makes things a lot easier. Now we can just go upstairs and check to make sure that everything is getting where it should be going. So subscribe to Joel Duggan. You can find that everywhere. It's just my name. doesn't matter whether it's Twitch, Instagram, YouTube. It's all just straight up easy, easy breezy. So this is not from today. This is stuff that we brought over manually, uh, but I left some melon seeds in here and some melons that we made before. I don't know why these are getting into the top slot. It's really strange. Okay, let's get out of here. Now, normally in this area, my frame rate drops to like four. And for some reason today, it's not. So I think it has something to do with these item elevators and the way that items bunch up. So I think one project that I have for the future is to replace these old glitchy uh, glass block elevators and replace them with the new 113 
water elevators. It's just a fair amount of work because uh, I have to redo the way that the droppers work down below. But let's take to the sky and see what our newly minted melon farm looks like. Let's see if we can see it from far away. Pretty dark down that way, but I think it's just because we're not loading anything in. Get the fog on. So there's the new pumpkin or melon farm. It's not bad. It's a little dark, certainly dark compared to the cactus. So the only light at the moment is the sea pickles that are at the back. And they're lighting up. How are they lighting up the, I don't know where the light's coming from for the potato in the middle. That's weird. I guess it's the sea pickles. Interesting. So there's sea pickles right down there. But I feel like I want to have more light around. So one of the things we could do is we could replace, we could put sea pickles and water in each of these sides as well. That might be okay. But beyond that, and we'd have to put something in the farm. But see, like, look how bright that is, and how bright everything else is compared to this. So I'd like to try and brighten that up. I could put something on the top of it, but I really like how clean this looks over there. I'm not really sure. Any ideas, chat? I'm not really sure. So yeah, I'm not really sure. I guess I could put water underneath these and hide sea pickles underneath those. That could work. Let's try that. So let's grab eight sea pickles and do I have any ice in here? Oh, I've got ice on me. Sweet. Hey, Elkhorn95. How's it going? So we can do that. That. This is going to be messy. A minute. How did that not go anywhere? Oh, the trap doors keep getting in place. Sweet. So this is going to help, I think. It's a little bit better. It's weird. It's it's not quite what I was going for. But you can see it better. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad, not bad. I like that you can see the glass more in this one because of the glowstone. So maybe we should put glowstone in that. But I can't think of any other light source that I would want in there. Because I do, as much as I like the look of this this one, I do find the glowstone kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. What's the project du jour? We just built this melon farm, and it is cranking. We've almost got a stack already. Uh, and basically, it's the same it's the same system. We can recap for all the new people. Uh, so in, we've only been up for a little while, and we've put in this circuit underneath. So it waits for this chest to be completely full, minus one. And then uh, anything excess will be shot out into the water stream and then sent along to the greenhouse. And that's what we've been working on the last little while. Both projects. The pumpkin farm does the same thing. Pumpkin farm shoots things out there. And then the melon farm shoots things out here. And that's how everything gets to the greenhouse. So I'm quite happy with the way that it worked out. It did not take nearly as long because I just did the exact same, you know, redstone last weekend. So it was very much fresh, fresh in my mind. Uh, but I know uh, that I need to take a break, uh, so I'm going to sleep here for Alistair so that he doesn't have to worry about it. And then uh, I'm going to take a quick stretch break, maybe about three to five minutes, and I will be back momentarily. <laughs>